Fair, accurate, to the point. The 530 News continues on Montana's news station. Hi, I'm Katie Harris, and we are live in downtown Whitefish for KPAX KAJ Country. I'm standing in front of one of the oldest buildings in downtown Whitefish. Behind me is Casey's Bar. It was built in about 1905, and this building has really lived out its course. It's actually leading about 15 degrees to the south. Casey's Bar will actually come down next week, but in its place will be a more modern building, but it will still have that rustic feel. A familiar sign came down from a downtown hangout this week. The removal of Casey's Bar sign was somewhat of a bittersweet moment for onlookers. But it will be hung again in the future after the current building will be removed from the site. It's an old building. It needs to come down. It, it really is. It's, uh, it's a decrepit building, but yeah, it's going good. And a lot of rotten stuff. It just needs to come down. Okay. So it's time? It's time. It's, it's run its course. Casey's Bar temporarily stopped serving its loyal customers on Monday when demolition began on the building. By next week, the building will be nothing but a pile of lumber in the street. When we demo, we're going to kick the two corners of the building in and it has to sort of kick the feet out from underneath it. Then in the back, we're going to get a big excavator and push it off onto the street. So when it comes down, it will come down with a mighty crash. Mighty Casey's coming, going down. <laughs> Once the current structure is removed, a new one will be formed in its place. Uh, it's got a lot of neat features to it. It's mainly going to be built out of brick and steel and wood and timber. And it's going to have a little bit more of a historical character and nature to it. A lot of exposed elements inside the building. It'll be a new building, but have a lot of uh, older type characteristics to it. The new Casey's will feature a rooftop patio, a downstairs and upstairs, and a grill for food. Balconies will be added, one on the rooftop and one on the corner of the building overlooking the street. And of course, that familiar sign with the green clover will be added back to the building that plans to be open by Memorial Day 2012. Now the last day you can see Old Casey's Bar will be next week on Thursday at about 7 a.m. It will be torn down and that will start the process of this new building that's coming to downtown Whitefish. And now talking about all the tourism in Whitefish, I'm here with Kevin Gartland. He's the executive director for the Whitefish Chamber of Commerce. And Kevin, how was the summer season? I know winter was pretty successful. Mm -hmm. How would you say the summer season was as far as tourism goes for Whitefish? Uh, summer has been bizarre. You know, it's, it's been an interesting uh, kind of a summer. You know, we had that late winter, which none of us are going to complain about here in a ski resort, uh, right. but it led to the late opening of the Going to the Sun Road as well. So okay. summer was a little bit delayed in arriving here tourism-wise and business-wise as well, but it's really picked up since then. I talked to several folks today who said that uh, July started off slow, but they, as soon as the road opened up, the, the tourists were here and they picked up everything they lost. So uh, they're very happy with the way things have gone in July and August. Okay. And now... You know, we can sort of feel summer dwindling out, so today? some of us are, well, yeah, today you can't tell, it's too hot, <laughs> but, you know, fall, fall season is coming, and that it means, is. you know, the tourists are kind of going to go home until winter comes. What are we, what do we have planned in Whitefish as far as uh, the shoulder season? Well, the shoulder season is one area that we see as a, a real viable opportunity for us to grow our tourism business. The fall is so beautiful here in the Flathead that uh, we want to share it with the folks that, that, that aren't here. So uh, we've got we've been focusing on doing special events. Uh, we've got an event coming up next weekend, the first annual Montana Music Festival, and then a week after that, the Taste of Whitefish, and then three weeks after that, Oktoberfest. So we're doing things to try and bring folks here in the off season, try and give our economy a shot in the arm. Okay, great. Thanks, Kevin. And uh, now Hi. we're going to talk about some weather. Yeah. I'm joined by Aaron Yost. Aaron, it's hot today. It's really hot. We're kind of baking in the sun here, aren't yeah. we? What do we have for the forecast? We've got some more hot weather. Stay with us. That's coming up right after the break. <laughs> it's hot.